Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to Circuit Superstars. It's a brand new early access release from Original Fire Games, and we're going to take a first look at this one. Uh, not all of the features that will be available are available now, as it's just just released into early access. And quite suddenly, I've had this on my wish list for ages, and there was no release date. And then suddenly, it was released. So here it is, now playable. Uh, it's a top-down arcade race game, but it's got some modern features to the old school arcade race game. And I'm super excited by that because, well, I grew up with the arcade race games, both in the arcade and in some early consoles. So I'm going to take on a mini series here in addition to this first look. But for the first look, we're going to do four races, three laps each. We only qualify for the first one, and then that's going to lead to our position for each one following that. We've got any car set, so there's different types of cars. We also have any AI uh, level set, and so there's going to be a range of drivers and cars in the field. First race is at the Copperwood track. We're going to begin with a single lap of qualifying. During qualifying, it'll ghost other uh, cars, but you do have them out there for pacing as well. Uh, the game does seem to lack volume control accurately uh, right now, so I, I understand that the game video, uh, the game audio is probably quite loud here. I have been on this track in preparation. So I at least know this track. Our penalties for corner cutting, they are instant. And you can see with the range of abilities, I'm definitely not going to be on pole because I just got ghost past it. Oh, I went super wide there. The, the ghost cars are freaking me out a little bit. They're messing with my vision of everything. Uh, that is going to be good enough for a decent qualifying position, but not a great one. 12 cars in the field. It is uh, interchangeable. You can set that to different levels. Looks like I'm at about 7th, which puts me right in the middle of that AI level. And that seems about right with this game so far. Lower, lower AI levels I can crush, but the, the higher levels are a bit challenging still. So qualifying 7th. That'll be throughout, and you can see I'm very, very close in a tightly packed midfield. There's some gap to the top drivers, and there's some gap to the bottom ones, but I very much have a field that I'll be able to uh, to ride with, race head-to-head -head with on this one. Now, the, the key feature to this game is the multiplayer system. You have four-player local. It has remote play together. And then there is an online uh, race that you can get into. I have not been into it yet. It's in beta right now. It's early, early testing on that feature. But this game is definitely built to be a multiplayer arcade racer. Uh, it does have damage physics. The damage physics are can be turned down and even off entirely wide through there uh, and then one of the very key features of this game is the if you look at the bottom left corner I have health that's the car health and then I have my fuel and I have tire wear and it is a realistic uh, grip changes over time you get a lot less grip as time goes on uh, but we're just doing little sprint races just a little three lapper uh, after only qualifying in 7th, I, right off the start line, was able to uh, push myself up into 5th place. And with that 5th place, uh, I've been able to hang on to that. So that's, that's a good sign as we go to head into the final lap of this opener. Now you can manually set the, 
the AI to a specific level, but I've kind of found I'm in between levels right now, so I'm either crushing the field on one specific AI level or uh, getting crushed by the field on the next AI, AI level up. And so to be competitive uh, mixing, you can kind of see exactly that out in play here as that AI level of the drivers. Uh, there's an awfully big gap between the two AI levels, and so I'm kind of fitting into the middle of the field. But fifth place, good result on the first of four races. Now, you set your own championships, you pick your own tracks that you're going to do. There's different layouts for some of the tracks. You saw that there was a little shortcut across the track here uh, that gives you an alternate version to the course. Uh, you set what type of cars, what type of AI levels, how long the races are. You can set anywhere from 1 to 100 laps per race. With the longer ones, you are going to get into doing pit stops, and it's a cool little system for the pit stops as well as we go ahead and move forward to the second race of four that we're going to be partaking in. So far, we are in fifth place. Let's see if we can uh, do something similar going forward. The, the upper AI, there's I, I don't think I have much of a chance of cracking the podium. I have not been on this circuit yet, so this is going to be interesting. And you can see pit row there, and you have actual pit crews that are standing by in there, and they are uh, interacted with. You drive your way into. Let's see, the mechanics for the start is pretty wild, and I, I do understand that it is quite loud. I have turned down the audio very very low the game just does not manage that uh, currently Ooh, oh. my right rear got a little squirrely on the edge and, and it it kind of sent me around I told you that it's got this physics uh, for your grip and I picked up a little dirt and Ooh, I got booted over there this, this guy is all over me. I should probably actually just let him through because he is obviously quicker than I am. And he's just going to wreck me out entirely if I keep fighting with him. So now we're down to fourth and that fifth place. Oh, jeez. Just got slammed out of the way on that corner. Went in way too hot there and ended up struggling through that turn and losing a bit of time. I can see now that fifth place seems to be where I'm about destined to be in this field with these cars. Now the cars themselves uh, all handle differently. There's, there's some that are a little faster, there are some that handle better, uh, are lighter. There's, there's different handling for each and every car type. Uh, but ultimately, they balance one another out. So you can have uh, you can have trucks that are pretty quick, but all in all, they're going to be generally at the back. But then when you start throwing in that AI level part, uh, that's that's going to find some sort of balance in the middle. So still fifth place going forward. Uh, the two in front of me have swapped places gonna give me a slight chance to maybe catch one of them but not likely as uh, as we hit level two here after my experience trying this out when it just came out just yesterday so all right Maple Ridge this is race number three of four again three laps for each one each one is set to the same quantity of laps uh, at least currently you can't set each one individually to a different amount all right here we go I know this track. Okay. Been on this track once. That helps. <laughs> Great start this time. We get off uh, off the line first and into the lead, but how well can we hang on? Can we hang on to something better than fifth place this time? It's always tough because these cars behind me are faster and we just slam the wall, cut that corner too tight. 
Oh, and no matter how fast I'm going, that car is just going faster. And I have some serious damage now. I mean, you can see we're, we're billowing smoke. I've never actually had that happen on this game. I took some really heavy damage on that wall, but... Uh, that that slam to, to move me from second place and bump me out of the way, that uh, really added to the damage significantly. And... Uh, I don't know if that's affecting my speed or not, but I know it affects the pit stop with this little sprint race. We don't need that, but hanging on to fifth place is going to be a much bigger task now than any of the races previously where we were very comfortable. And that's sad because obviously I had the lead there, but you could really see we are off the pace. I mean, I'm not taking a horrible line. In fact, that was a really good line through there, and it did open the gap actually, but... Uh, that car is just simply faster. Alright, well we do manage to hang on to third and actually even pull away a little bit, but uh, there's our first instance of having to deal with a bit of damage and it does impact the pace of the car. I ended up 12 seconds from behind from the lead. I mean, they just flew on past. So, huge gap. There are cars that are faster than this car that were up there. I actually uh, only I only have the I have the only 60s open wheel car uh, in the field. So, it's it is definitely not the top car and it is a bit off the pace of those other cars. So, even if I was driving lights out, I'm not beating those cars as they're bigger, better, faster cars. All right, final race of this opening championship. And off we go. Can we keep fifth place today? Can we do one better? We get a really nice start here. But then we really messed that up. Uh, we somehow survive and escape from that though. And here comes the quick cars coming through the modern Formula One cars or Indy cars or whatever you prefer. You can see how much more straight line speed they have compared to us. <sighs> Again, I take that corner a bit too tight. Sometimes the top down mechanics are a little tricky on reading the line perfectly. I mean, if you're really trying to stay tight to the apex, it really messes with your head uh, when you're looking at it oh, away from it instead of at it. Uh, we are down to that fifth position, but we are hanging on a little bit better this time. I mean, we do have the GT car in sight. <laughs> we don't mess that turn up this time, but... That, that's been my my biggest problem with this game so far is is you're, you're looking top down, but it's not fully top down, right? It's a little bit of an aerial view, and you do play with the angles a little bit as a result. And the angle that we're looking at, sometimes, if it's that inner, inner apex, I, I'll clip that guardrail, and I've done that quite a few times right, in that little bit of practice that I've gotten to get, get ready for this one. Well, anyway... We do keep fifth place once again, so we got fifth place in every race. Uh, this one was a little bit tighter towards the end as well as that car was coming down on us. You give them a few more laps, that feather might be passing us, but that feather... Uh, the feather and the Osprey are, are pretty close to one another. The feather is... Uh, it's just super lightweight, and so it handles really well, but it doesn't quite have the speed that the Osprey has. Uh, we hit level two, but at this point, I have no idea what the levels are going to, going to do, uh, or what they'll eventually be uh, added up to 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 mean within this game. I see that you have different livery options, uh, though your selection you can you can edit liveries, you can pick your own colors, uh, but some of those options are still limited. So it, it's very much an early access game that's that's just getting going. The key feature here is going to be the 
multiplayer of this. It's a, it's a fun little game. It's so easy to pick up and enjoy, and then it's going to be hard to master. Uh, the, there are so many intricacies, and then especially as you get into longer races, A, knowing your car, B, knowing the track, C, varying conditions as you lose grip. So it's constantly evolving, and so races do provide you with that uh, that extra element where it's not just repetitive. It's not just the same thing. You, you have these variables constantly evolving throughout and, and that, uh, that's going to give it some nice replayability. But for me on my first look, this is absolutely a multiplayer game first and foremost and single player, you can make your own little mini championships uh, I haven't seen how many races can you actually put in 12 so 12 races up to 99 laps each you can qualify for each of the 12 races or qualify just once overall like we did there uh, you can have up to 12 racers or less and again you can set the 60s GP the 80s the Euro trucks the GT the super lights or the muscle cars and then also let's see was there any more no that was all of them uh, and then how many different we have one two three four five difficulty levels all right folks well that's the first look of circuit superstars available on steam now i'm decathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now